All right, I'm on hole number nine of the 2019 fall major in the opening round of the rookie division. Let's go to hole number nine. Check it out. Go to Golf Clash Notebook. I love this site. If you play Golf Clash and you're not using this site, you're missing out. All right, I'm going to come down into this area. And I'm going to try and get up on the green. Now, there is a there is a funnel that you can get up here where you can actually come up on the hill and watch your ball guy come back down to the hole. It's I've had every other time I've come here, sometimes I can get that funnel to work out and sometimes I can't get the read on it. But if you can get the read over here on the one going in, I'm going to do a 10% wind adjustment. I'm going to add 10% onto the wind. And if you hit it perfect, you have a serious look at Albi on this hole. I have no problem with the shot over here to the left, but the one thing in this tournament I, I will say is this shot out here, I, I really don't have any problems with this shot, but when you're coming in, the wind in this tournament is blowing like this. So if you're coming from this direction, you have like a pure, I mean, absolutely like a pure tailwind. So if you make a wrong wind adjustment, as long as you hit it perfect and you've lined that up, that tail up, you, you got a serious look at it. Um, when you're taking this shot, it's a very it's a very low percentage shot coming in this way anyways with your wood, and you're hitting up against a side wind. So the side wind is just compounding the problem. So I am going to take the lower route. I'm going to take my accurate bag. One of my accurate bags. Take my rock and a sniper. I'm going to take a, I'm going to, I'm taking the wind out of both shots, but I'm going to take a kingmaker. Because I want that second shot to have less wind in it. So let's get one of those rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, here we go. See if we can end the front nine with an Albi. I need to, my goal going in is a minimum of minus 28 and I didn't catch five. I was down in the hole and I didn't execute. I didn't hit it perfect on the chip and I ended up not picking up the eagle when I was right there. I don't need to press the issue too much down there in that hole. So I want my tail to be before that shadow. 2.6. 100% accurate club. 2.6 rings. I'm going to put on just a little bit of curl just to make sure it stays to the left. Hit it great to the right. So that just took all the curl out. So it'll just be a straight shot. I'm bleeding off into that shadow. I don't need to be any closer than that. You don't need to press the issue down there. The difference between if you've got a sniper and you're all the way down in that hole and you're right up against the fringe, you may have to use one and a half or two top spin. If you're where I'm at, you may have to use two, two and a half top spin. Um, it's not that big of a difference, but if you end up in that rough down there, that is a big difference. So there's no reason to press the issue down there in that hole. That This drive shot is not the shot. The next shot's the shot. Let's see if my opponent can catch it. Get great to the left. Just missed that rough. Just missed it. I'm going to do a 10% adjustment to the cup. The goal is, is that hopefully I can get the tail to bleed off towards the hole. I'm not getting the read that I'm looking for. Two, three, that's gonna be two, five. It's not wanting to uh, give me a read there. 
hitting it perfect. I have zero confidence that that will go in. <clears throat> I'm gonna miss it to the right. I'm not getting my ball guide to respond the way I want down there. That's all right. One more shot at it. One more shot of practice. Let's see if my opponent can get up there. If you're too short, you can end up where my opponent's at, and they brought a two power ball instead of a three power ball. These par fives I'm in tournaments, you got to help yourself out and help your clubs out by bringing bigger stuff. The Titan. The King of Balls. They're perfect. In the hole. All right, so I finished the front nine with a minus 13. That's one off of where I want. So that puts a little pressure on me that I, I need to pick. I, I need to pick up three on the back. Hole number eight, I feel super confident that I'm going to get an eagle every time. So that means I need to pick up two of the other holes that are there. Hole number five is my, is my best shot. But I'm going to have to step it up on one of these other holes and execute and pick up that other shot to get back on the minus 28 track. The whole deal is going into the weekend round in a tournament like this and going into the weekend round, you, you tiebreakers are going to be so important. Coming in with a minus 28 versus a minus 27. Um, in my odd odd account, it looks like there's probably going to be one person. It's going to be close. It's going to be one person with a minus 26 is not going to make the weekend round. Or it's going to be all of the 26s are going to make the weekend round. Um, but it's going to be super, super tight up at the top and it's going to, and so it's really important that we go in with great tiebreakers. <clears throat> All right. That was hole number nine of the 2019 fall major in the opening round of the rookie division. Thanks for watching.